Hi, this is Alicia from Behind the Wide Picket Fence, and today I'm going to do a review on Destiny Kills by Carrie Arthur. Now, Carrie Arthur is one of my all-time favorite authors, and there really hasn't been very many books that I haven't liked by uh, her. Uh, the only one I haven't liked was um, Beneath a Rising Moon, and that was her first Ripple Creek book. Um, but that's a different story. This is... Um, uh, dragon shifter romance and uh, destiny is um, it starts out with her on an Oregon coast beach where she wakes up to a dead guy and has no memory of who she is or who he is and how they got there um, the only sh thing she finds is this dead guy's ring and she can feel that um, she was a part of his life and he was something important to her. So she gives him a proper burial uh, at sea. And so after that, she's kind of wandering uh, through a coastal town. And um, that's where she comes across Trey Wilson. And um, so... They go off on this grand adventure to pretty much just escape uh, these killers that are coming after Destiny and eventually Trey, too. And Trey realizes that um, Destiny is the only hope he has of finding his uh, lost sister. And um, so when he and um, Destiny get together... Their passion rises, but mainly they're just trying to fight it and stay apart from each other because they don't, they don't trust each other at all. They're just working together for a common um, ending. And um, so as they're trying to find his sister, they get captured. And this is um, the main thing about this book that is really interesting because the the way that these dragons are being held captive and tortured and whatever is was unique, and I had never read anything like that before. It was so bizarre. I, I couldn't imagine why someone would want to hold a dragon captive, but... Um, so, I really enjoyed Destiny Kills, and um, it is the first in the series her, uh, myth and magic series, um, definitely, definitely, if you like paranormal romance, then, um, this is a book for you, but it's also more, like, urban fantasy, too, so it's got that feel, but also it's got main theme of romance, too. Uh, I'll read the back description. Desire calls, danger lurks, but destiny kills. When Destiny, Destiny McCree wakes up beside a dead man on an Oregon beach, she knows only this. She has to keep moving, keep searching, and keep one step ahead of the forces that have been pursuing her from the heart of Scotland to this isol isolated spot. Why? The death of her lover has left her alone, with little memory of her past. A glimmering serpent-shaped ring in, one, in the one clue is the one clue she has, and a bargaining chip in a most dangerous game. Enter Trey Willis Wilson, a master thief with a sexy, knowing grin and a secret agenda of his own. Destiny and Trey both have powers far beyond the human, and both are running for their lives. Together they're riding a tide of danger, magic, and lust. But with killers stalking their every move, they must use an, any means necessary, even each other, to survive, until the shocking secret of one woman's destiny finally unravels. So... I really like Carrie Arthur's books because they're not like anything I've ever read before. They are a lot of urban fantasy, like I've said before, but the romance is something that has such passion and such um, chemistry between the characters that it just uh, swallows you up into the pages and uh, gets you interested in the characters from the first moment and uh really she is a great storyteller she knows an infinite amount of knowledge about different things and she incorporates 
all of her research into these books. And um, the reason, the main reason I really liked Destiny Kills was because of the dragons. <laughs> but um, uh, the fact that Destiny uh, has these amazing abilities to call the water towards her because of her, the fact that she's a water dragon. And I also really love how they go into detail about how the dragons live. And, um, it doesn't just black out when they get, when they transform into dragons. It's, um, a fully descriptive details on what it's like to be flying through the air or swimming in the ocean. Um, but, yeah, if you are a big fan of paranormal romance and with um, a great mystery and uh, wild adventure, then Destiny Kills is definitely a book for you. And even if you don't like dragons, I swear this will bo this book will make you love them. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this review and please subscribe to my video feed. And also, please check out my blog, whitepicketfence1.blogspot.com, and I'd be happy to um, answer any questions that you have, and thank you for watching.